Hi guys. Right? Love. Okay. So have you ever been in this situation? Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Clara. Clara, I'm Ashley. How you doing? I'm cool. How are you? Oh, really? You went to the movie? Did you see the movie too? What were you for Halloween? Oh, that's amazing. I love that costume. And a couple drinks in. <laughs> oh my god. Ashley, like I totally totally love you you are like my sister from another mister and i cannot believe i haven't met you earlier oh my god this girl her her i love her she's so cool oh my god i love her ah, you're so funny ah. oh my god isn't she just adorable oh, love her Love her. Love her. Selfie time. Snapchat. I love this girl. Do you even know my last name? So you're sitting here and saying that you love something when you clearly don't. Maybe we all can come to an agreement that love is a hyper extension of liking something. I'm sorry, what, what did you say? Love. Siri, what does love mean? Looking from 12 definitions of love, the first one is... Checking on that. From 12 definitions of love, the first one is a strong positive emotion of regard and affection. Okay, I found this on the web to read all the def... I don't love Siri. Okay, and then you have any object of warm affection or devotion. What does devotion mean? Love, loyalty, or enthusiasm for a person, activity, or cause. Oh my god. I love that necklace. Oh, you really like it? No, I love, I would totally die for that necklace. To, um, what? I would totally go around the world five times barefoot with nothing to eat but cactus water or uh, gum, you know, so I can stay super skinny. And I would totally die for that necklace. You know it's just a necklace, right? Oh, but I would like totally die for it. I just love it. Oh my God, your hair, I love it. It's so cool. Would you die for my hair too? You might know what they are, I might know what they are, but we're not using them the way that they should be used, so therefore we're misinterpreting them. And then we're getting into arguments about what he said, she said, I am guilty of this as well. That's why I'm putting it out there. We have become so watered down with our definitions of things because they are basically non-existent. And you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? No, because you clearly don't know what they mean. Now, at this point, I'm just gonna make up what they mean in my head and what they mean for me and then take it in that way. Be clear with your words. Be impeccable with your words. People will know someone for less than an hour and then claim that they love them. And then you wonder why relationships get screwed up, why friendships are built on facades of love, of love that doesn't even fucking exist because you don't even know what it means. And by the way, just because you say love doesn't mean the other person takes it the same way. So again, we have to choose our words wisely. How can anyone take that in? When we're at a point where we're desensitized, we're denouncing, we're watering down, our form of expression, our expression is starting to become so minuscule and so... That's where this pessimism comes from. That's where this negativity comes from. That's where the focus on what he said and she said comes from. Because at this point, no one even knows what the fuck they're talking about anymore. It's a big deal. Words... <clears throat> it's means for survival. At this point. I don't know. I'm venting. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to me. Comment below. Subscribe. Like. Share. Do what you want to do. Love you guys. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know any of you. But I respect y'all. 
But remember, there's a big difference between one versus the other. There's a big difference between love and like. Just be clear, we need to be a little bit, a little bit more impeccable with our words.